Hello, I am Dr. Sister Bina, a religious sister belonging to the congregation of the Ursulines of Mary Immaculate. Currently, I am the executive director and a consultant gynecologist at Bandra Holy Family Hospital, Mumbai. A charitable hospital in Maharashtra is a hospital which is registered under Public Charitable Trust which comes under Charity Commissioner's purview, wherein we dedicate 20% of our beds, hospital beds, for either for indigent patients or weaker section patients. So we have 10% for IPF patients and 10% of bed for weaker section patients. The hospitals need to dedicate or set aside 2% of their total income to take care of the poor of the society. Holy Family Hospital, Mumbai, is a charitable hospital run by missionaries. All missionary hospitals are charitable hospitals, but all charitable hospitals need not be a missionary hospital. So what makes the missionary hospital a unique hospital is it is the ethos or the principle behind the functioning of the hospital. I can start by saying the essence of Christianity or the core value of Christianity is love of God and love of neighbor. Healthcare is one platform where the love of neighbor is concretely expressed. And who is our neighbor? Any person who is in need of our assistance, irrespective of caste, creed, or economic status. So that defines the mission and vision of the hospital. The hospital has its humble beginning in the year 1942, when it was started by late Dr. Austin Silva as a 10-bedded nursing home in suburban Mumbai. Later on, in the year 1953, he handed over the hospital to Medical Mission Sisters. In the year 1978, we, the Ursuline Sisters of Mary Immaculate, took over the hospital. Since then, we had been continuously upgrading and expanding the hospital. In the year 1985, we expanded the 22-bedded maternity home to a 120-bedded broad speciality hospital. Later on, in the year 1992, we started a few super speciality departments like dialysis, NICU, plastic surgery, neurology, etc. A significant milestone was achieved in the year 2002 when we started a state-of-the-art cardiac catheterization lab and cardiothoracic surgery unit, which was upgraded in the year 2010 to a hybrid cath lab. In the year 2010, we also obtained the prestigious NABH accreditation to our hospital. We also have a strong research and academic background. In, from the year 2006, we have D&B postgraduate medical programs. Today we have in nine specialties, this uh, super specialty, uh, two super specialties and uh, seven broad specialties, this academic program is going on. In the year 2014, we added 23 bedded ICU. So as of now, we have around 72 beds in critical care, of which 52 are adult ICU beds. Lately, in the last year, one year ago, we started our geriatric care unit, uh, wherein we shifted our focus uh, to the elderly of the neighboring community. Uh, and this center works exclusively uh, to cater to the needs of the elderly population in Bandra, uh, wherein our doctors and nurses 
pay home visit whenever required, home blood collections are conducted, home nursing care services are provided. Uh, we are also planning for home delivery of medicine to this, especially to cater the needs of uh, geriatric population. Last year, in the year 2022, we have also started few other initiatives like a community connect program uh, wherein uh, promotive health and preventive health sessions are given to the community around. Recently, about three months ago, we opened a second cath lab. So today, a lot of interventional cardiac procedures, uh, neuro procedures, as well as uh, peripheral vascular procedures are done in our uh, cath lab. Uh, hence, we constantly evolved over a period of last uh, 81 years, uh, especially in the last 45 years under Earthline stewardship, uh, continuously catering to the needs of the community. Uh, I can uh, especially recall our recent pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic, wherein we converted 170 beds during the peak time, COVID time, to cater uh, exclusively kept for COVID patients, of which 170 of which I think 28 beds were exclusively in the intensive care with ventilator facilities. I think we provided a tremendous support to the uh, community and uh, I think that's the way we live our mission, uh, cater to the needs of the community, whatever is the healthcare need. Um, as per that, we change um, our services. Quality healthcare at affordable cost is a kind of uh, two extremes uh, because all of us know in a tertiary care center, uh, quality care comes with cost. Uh, so we always, uh, the challenge is to strike a balance. How do we provide quality care at an affordable uh, cost? So finances. Um, is always had been a problem uh, to upgrade the technology, to improve the infrastructure and facilities, uh, and as well as to retain our staff. Today, Holy Family Hospital is a 268-bedded multi-speciality hospital and research center. And we have about 200 doctors, most of them are honorary consultants. And always I give uh, the hospital has grown continuously and we have expanded. I would like to place my gratitude uh, to all our donors uh, who actually contributed uh, financially, assisted us um, in expanding and upgrading the hospital. Uh, especially our donors from Bandra, the local communities, the local churches um, in the initial phase. And uh, recently, a foundation that is Harish and Binasha Foundation, uh, who are contributing uh, in a significant way uh, for upgrading the hospital and hospital facilities. Uh, I always believe that um, if we can uh, give quality care and affordable care, this is because of the generous contribution of our donors. I was talking about the second cath lab. The second cath lab was a donation from a Bandra family, Nagpal family. I think a lot of advancement, a lot of changes and improvement we are able to bring about because of the generosity of uh, the people in and around Bandra.